So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Vulcan Omni Pro 220 from Harbor Freight. I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into the demonstration for you guys. And then I'll just let you guys know what I think on it. All right, so here's the welds that I made with the Vulcan Omni Pro 220. Now, as you see these two pieces here, um, this is dirty metal. I didn't even bother to clean it because I was actually um, comparing the new Vulcan wire with the Lincoln wire. So um, never mind that though. Uh, the wire did a really good job of taking out the, the oxides and the crap that's just inside the metal. But anyways, um, the Lincoln wire that I used it went out just really good. The machine burns nice and hot. Um, same thing with the Vulcan. Um, I did a better one here in the background. <laughs> and I kind of screwed up this one a little bit here with the Lincoln. But 
I guess there's a pretty side and a dirty side to these. <laughs> I did use the settings that came with the machine on these pieces here. Now I do have another piece that I did a custom setting and I got a much better result out of this one. Now with this one here, this one's my custom setting on the machine for 035 and it came out really, really well. Um, I found that tuning the machine to your desire is much better than what comes with the settings from the manufacturer. Now when it comes to this piece that I welded here, um, you can kind of see it's, uh, I hope you guys can see it, it's much flatter. The flux core came out all right, but for some reason the Vulcan has less batter compared to the Lincoln. I don't know why, it's maybe just my technique or the machine setting. All right, so that was the welding demonstration for the Omni Pro 220. Now, I've had this welder for a while, and I'm really impressed by it, especially the ease of use, functionality, and the accessories that are included with the machine. Uh, when it comes down to the ease of use, I find that the machine, well, it's dummy proof. And what I mean by that, the machine allows you to pick welding parameters to give you a preset or what they call a synergic setting for your input. And the synergic setting is all right. I I'm not too fond of it, but in my opinion, it's great for the beginner. But for the more experienced user, um, it is customizable. And you get an advanced setting that allows you for hot starts, spot welding, uh, inductance, uh, spot timer. It just all depends on the process that you pick. Now, the functionality of the machine is more impressive when you couple it with the right accessory and consumables because with this machine you can MIG, TIG, stick, or spool gun weld. And if that's not cool enough, it's also a dual voltage. So you can do, or you can weld on 110 or 220 voltage. I haven't welded with 110 yet, but when it when the time comes, I will be glad to have, that I have that option so I can weld on 110. Uh, especially for like spot welding of sheet metal or something like that. But anyways, when it comes to the included accessories, it's my opinion that everything with this package is it's well suited for the welder, um, especially for its capabilities, uh, especially like the 300 amp electrode holder for the stick welding, the gas regulator, the hose for the MIG welding, and also the package comes with a really well detailed manual, a quick start guide, and another nice thing that I really liked was an included 20% off coupon for any Vulcan welding accessory or consumable. And that coupon does not have an expiration date. So later on down the line, I will be using that coupon probably to purchase the spool gun. So let's talk about a little bit about what I didn't like about the machine or what I, what I didn't find great about it. Uh, the Synergic settings were not to my liking. Uh, that's all right though because I can fine-tune the machine for my skill set uh, for the beginner though the synergic settings is, is just fine it's definitely customizable also um, the gas supply line or the gas hose for the regulator well mine had a couple of kinks on it and the quality is very low it's kind of like a plasticky hose I, I don't know how else to explain it but it could be better quality but it is functionable to conclude the video, I will say that I enjoyed using the machine. It came well packaged, uh, really nice fit and finish, especially the key drive rolls for the drive system. Uh, it seems like all the Vulcan uh, line of MIG welders use the same drive system. But then again, that's just me speculating, but they all look similar. Uh, I think Harbor Freight finally went above and beyond, especially for the price advertised. Even better when you can get it at a lower price. Uh, also, I want to go ahead and thank Harbor Freight for allowing me to try out the Omni Pro and only wanting feedback in return. They did not pay me, nor was there any stipulations for a video or any videos. Uh, with that said, um, I hope that this demonstration and this video is worth something to someone, uh, especially for those who are interested in the Omni Pro. But anyways, if you guys like this video and want to see more, please subscribe for future content. And I want to thank everyone who watched this video, and I will see you guys on the next one.